myself or actually putting together a schedule for myself. Hey guys, Sean T. Phillips here with my brand new DVD, Blu-ray, and toy hunting video at WonderCon, 2019 WonderCon, which is held at the Anaheim Convention Center. Gonna go around in here, see what kind of stuff I can see. I don't know if there'll be too many DVDs or Blu-rays in here. In the years past, there's been like a couple different booths with DVDs and Blu-rays. If you guys are new to my videos, I do a lot of videos like going out looking for out of print DVDs, Blu-rays. On Tuesdays, I do videos looking at, you know, the new releases and doing movie reviews and stuff. So I do a lot of movie stuff on this channel, but I also, you know, I, when I go to conventions always look for any interesting like old school toys some new stuff you know toy wise as well so pretty much just gonna go around the whole convention see any kind of interesting stuff you know that I come across and show you guys so let the WonderCon video begin But in here, though, I usually start on the one far end of the convention and work my way back. But there are uh, panels here, like just like at you know San Diego Comic Con as well. They don't have as many panels here, but they do have some. Like today, I know they were having one for you know Jordan Peele's you know uh, Twilight Zone, the reboot, which is going to be starting up soon. There was a panel for that, and then there was one later this evening for uh, Child's Play, you know the uh, Child's Play remake. I don't know who's going to be there though. I don't know if it was announced exactly like what cast members are going to be there or not. But like I said, they do have panels and stuff here. I don't know if I'm going to get into any of them or how long I'm going to be here. But like I said, just going to pretty much go and po you know poke all around here, see any interesting stuff I come across, see any people. If I talk to anybody here in the video, you never really know. I don't know who they have guest wise here this year. I didn't even really notice. They don't, they don't have as many signings here as they do at Comic-Con. Like, Comic-Con has like a set area of, you know, the celebrities and stuff that sign. But in here, though, they have, I think they usually have like a small area somewhere in here. So we're definitely looking at that area as well to see who's over there. So we made it to the whole far end here. I think this area is kind of like the small press, kind of uh, people who have their graphic novels and their artwork and that kind of stuff here. Uh, so I usually always start in this area, like I said, and then kind of make my way all the way to the, you know, to the whole far end here. <laughs> One thing I always like to look at too is like look back at these videos later and like look at like what's going on behind me. There's always sometimes there's some odd things going on that people are doing behind me then you kind of notice them later. I don't know, that's one of, one of my favorite things about these conventions is just kind of walking around and putting a camera on me and then like seeing, you know, what goes on, you know, like I said, behind. <laughs> These are some cool like postcards here, like Pennywise here, and like um, Donnie Darko, you know, Frank the Bunny, and all some really cool ones in here. Like I said, you come around here and you see like a whole lot of people, you know, uh, drawing pictures and stuff like that. They do like they they do um like you can ask them to draw like a certain character and that kind of stuff in here. So that's all the stuff that goes in on here is people who have like prints for sale, like um buttons and all that kind of stuff that they make. That's all kind of in this vicinity over here. Then over there you get to where they have like lots of Funko Pops and then action figures and more comics and that kind of stuff. So there's all different kind of areas, but this main area though, and like I said, is people who are selling things that they made and their prints and graphic novels and that kind of stuff. This booth over here always has really cool prints. They have like a really cool print here of Beetlejuice. It's like Beetlejuice on the couch there. And there's one up here for the Lost Boys. That one's really, really cool. And that Beetlejuice one though, I really like that one a lot. Same with, like I said, the Lost Boys one. There's one up there for the movie Moon. Mad Max Fury Road up there, Dark Crystal. Blade Runner one's down here. Yeah, very cool. I remember a few years back I got like a Ghost in the Shell print from that booth. I remember it was a big thing to find like a poster roll tube for it because they were out of them. And I remember like I bought one down there and then it didn't fit in it and I couldn't return it. It was expensive. And then I saw one that was like $5 super cheap right there. I remember it was a huge to do a couple of years back though with that poster. And that's one thing you see here as well. A lot of like photo op kind of things where you guys can you know get your pictures in front of the photo op things. There. This is for promoting the movie Missing Link. And they have like some free posters and that kind of stuff here for the movie. But over here though, on the other side of where they had those cool prints, they have even more ones back here. They have like one here for Gremlins, it's really cool. They have um, one from The Matrix, The Karate Kid. It's a cool Joker one down there. Ghostbusters. I like that one up there for um, Leon the Professional. That's a very cool one as well. 
I'm Pennywise the Dancing Clown, and you're Jack Nicholson, so now we know each other. Correct. Mm -hmm. And they have this sign like Deadly Night Toy. Everybody always says, too, this kind of looks like me. Like, I remember all the comments and stuff, and people were like tagging me in this picture. The guy kind of does look like me in this drawing here a little bit. This is a cool one here for the fog that they have. And a whole bunch of ones here, like for It here, It the Movie. And then they have like, um, this is really cool, this, this Nightmare on Elm Street Freddy Krueger one here, this accessory set thing here. Yeah, and, and this, this is also another really cool one, this um, Ace Ventura one. That's very cool. But like I said though, there's definitely not a shortage in here of Funko Pop. All these ones are like $12, I think, or four for 44. But yeah, look at how many there are here. And this is just one of the booths. There are so many of them in here. You know, for a while though, I felt like that you weren't going to see them as often, but now I feel like they're kind of back again. I feel like there's certain things like that that kind of have a period of time when they kind of drop off a little bit and then kind of pick back up again. And I feel like lately, they're kind of back again. Over here is all these mystery boxes. In the past though, they used to be just kind of mystery boxes and they were really generic and they just like were all looked exactly the same. You had like no clue really what was in them. Now they're all kind of themed. Like there's Dragon Ball Z ones there. There's a Bob's Burger one. There's one for Buffy the Vampire Slayer, a Scooby-Doo one, some kind of Jurassic Park 60th anniversary, but they're, they're not cheap though, like it's 60 bucks, $50 for that Aliens one, so most of them are like 40, 50 bucks for the most part. But like I said though, I have no real major thing I'm looking for when I come here. Like I said, I like to see if I can come across any DVDs or Blu-rays, but mainly I like to just pretty much just kind of poke around and see the kind of interesting stuff that I come across while I'm walking around in here. Like Battle of Kingdoms or something. Over here though they have movie cars. This is the one from Batman. From you know the Tim Burton's Batman. That's very cool. The thing that's cool about them too I always like is like when you can peek inside and like see what they look like inside. Like from a view you really would never really get. I think that one is from the Green Hornet. I, I'm pretty sure that's what that car is from. Yeah, here's one booth over here for Indican Pictures. They put out the one movie that I really like, Cynthia. That was a fun Scout Taylor Compton movie. There, so there is one DVD booth here. They're usually here. They're advertising that Sid Haig film, High in the Hog, over there. Yeah, here's another one of the movie booths that's over here. This booth, I see this here at Comic-Con, you know, San Diego Comic-Con, lots of different conventions I've seen this one. And they have a bunch of these, you know, these are all DVD-Rs, but they've got like interesting stuff here, like a complete series of Goof Troop, and I think they're going to be releasing Goof, the Goofy movie on, on the Disney Movie Club. I saw that on Blu-ray. There's a lot of interesting different shows here. All this is all stuff you know that never has had a you know main uh, release at least in the U.S. So a bunch of different things in here. It's usually kind of the same stuff I've seen throughout the years. Like I remember this Howard Stern one from like back in the day at Comic Con years back. Always seeing that one. Like the Human Target here. Some show here called Demons. This one though, this is out. I'm pretty sure all the seasons of this are out because I know I have at least all the ones that they released. I don't know if there was maybe one that they didn't put out of that one, but I'm pretty sure all those ones were Captain Nice here. This is one, like I said, it's one of these booths though that I always, you know, check out and see, you know, what they have here. Yeah, but this one, this was released, this Night Flyers, that has a legitimate release. Yeah, but like I said about those ones in the past, those ones are all, you know, DVD-R, so they're like, you know, not legitimate releases or anything. Sometimes they're like copies of ones that were released in other countries and stuff, but, you know, the quality isn't always that amazing, and the prices are not super amazing on them. And I've got some, like, years and years back, and sometimes they have, like, um, burned in like logos of the company that actually made the discs and stuff like that on them was always kind of strange. I feel like the only ones that I ever got that I'm glad that I did years ago was Zoobly Zoo because that's like one of those shows that has like never had anything but VHS releases and like there's never been anything of that. So hopefully someday Zoobly Zoo will have legitimate releases because that was one of the strangest shows I remember watching as a little kid that I absolutely loved. I don't know what it would be like looking at that show now but it was seriously a very strange show. And they have a whole bunch of different horror posters over here. These ones are all, I'm pretty sure all of them are uh, reprints here. This says on there. There's like Monsters Go Home, Monsters Go Home, Creature from the Black Lagoon. Yeah, so a whole bunch of really cool ones in here. I saw one over there from Motel Hell. Yeah, there's some kind of obscure different ones in here. Suspiria one. 
Elvira's Haunted Hills. Yeah, in here though, I saw somewhere was one of those. Yeah, here's a, the Elvira Mistress of the Dark movie, Lost Boys, Frogs. That's a pretty cool, weird movie. Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, which is one I, I, I don't know, I always love that movie. Loved Ones, which is a really cool movie. You don't hear about that too often. That's a great movie. Chud, Cannibalistic Humanoid Underground Dwellers. I always loved Daniel Stern in that movie. Friday the 13th, Grindhouse, Howling. Yeah, so that's pretty cool though. Cujo one here. These are really cool. Texas Chainsaw Massacre air fresheners. Not, not a bad price, $4 for these ones. I wouldn't use them. I just keep them in the case, but you know, the thing still. But this is a cool, you know, Captain Spaulding. Over here is the Disney pin booth. All these ones over here are all different Disney pins. It seems like most of them are like 5 and $10. And there's some more obscure ones back there. But yeah, it's all Disney characters and that kind of stuff in here. But well, there's some mixed in that are not Disney though. Like Ghostbusters and everything. But yeah. All these different ones. And I know there's always a lot of controversy around these ones, you know, which ones are legitimate and which ones are not real and all that kind of stuff. But these all have the things in the back that, you know, say, like, I think these seems to be coming from Florida. But yeah, like, I don't know how people know, but I know there's a lot of stuff about these pins and, you know, which ones are real and which ones are not. Over here at this booth, they have a whole bunch of different soundtracks, like Creep Show here. This one, I always love this music, Day of the Dead, music for Day of the Dead, Dr. Doolittle, Cutthroat Island over there, Sandlot. These ones are all for convention special, two for 30 over here as well. There's a whole bunch of different ones. There's like Mission Impossible, Home Alone 2. These ones are two for 40. Alien 3, Waterworld. I always love the music as well in Waterworld. I remember too there was like that other score that they ended up like not using with the original composer. And I don't know if they ever like released any of that or ever or not, but I always was interested in hearing that. And they released that documentary on, you know, um, you know, uh, uh, now Larry Cohen who just recently passed away. I always loved his films, but this was a great documentary. Over here though, some more different ones. These ones are only two for 15. Speed. And these are ones too that like, you know, that do not have a huge release or anything. So they all released them through this company. Another one here, Adam's Family. Another one, I love the music in this one. Well, we ran into David Sterling. I have not seen you hey. in forever. You haven't been hey, in a you haven't been in a video in forever. Yeah, I've been I've been working making make in fact I'm making a movie this weekend in Pennsylvania. Bride of the Werewolf. Bride of the Werewolf and soon we're gonna be doing Camp Blood. What what Camp Blood number well, is it? Well well at I don't, some point. It's Camp Blood nine. Yes. But I don't know. Is it Camp Blood nine? I don't know, I gotta figure out. It's gonna be we'll its own a, movie or it's we'll, gonna be a it's gonna be a Camp Blood movie. Yeah. And I think maybe Mark Polonia might be spinning off another like Ghost of Camp Blood. We might do like Children of Camp Blood or yeah. something like that. And and uh, um so I'm doing um I think in May we're going to do uh, Camp Blood with Dennis Devine. Sean's going to be in it. Luna's going to be in it. Yeah. I'm trying. I, I haven't secured a couple people from the older Camp Bloods and some older, not older people, but o uh, like like older cast members from the yeah, past. Yeah. From other movies that that haven't been doing stuff for a while. Yeah. So, I cipher. Right. But we're here poking around. Have you got? Have you bought anything today or and anything? Just, like a fan of yours back there. Oh. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I was saying, Dave, did you end up, did you, have you bought anything or got any uh, free not, items? Not or? yet, not yet. I, um, that Larry Cohen movie looked interesting because, like, he just... Passed away. Yeah, which is, and I was a big, I was a big fan. I love his movies. I love the stuff. That's one of my favorite movies. And know? I also like the movie that he has with Eric Roberts, The Ambulance. Yeah, that's a, that's a really... He's a, he's a really great filmmaker. He, he, and he really, did a lot of B stuff, but he also wrote a movie like Cellular and, and uh, uh, Phone Booth. Yeah, I mean he, I don't know, it just it just it just sad, you know. But anyways, we're here to be happy today. Oh, I know. And um, just looking around, I was looking at some uh, uh, records or CDs maybe, and some DVDs. I don't really buy toys and stuff because um, as a more of a, a fan, a collector, a, you gotta pick one thing that you like. And, and yeah, and sort of stick got, with it. A toy would be, toy would be fun, but I, I I'm, I'm running out of room, you know. And, and the DVDs and Blu-rays and and records and cassettes and DVDs and magazines. 
And you remember though, this area though, used to be autographs. They might have moved them, but do you remember like years ago, this is where like all the autographs were. Yeah, I saw Reggie today. I was talking to Reggie Banner. Yeah. A phantasm, mm -hmm. and I was talking to the soup Nazi. Uh, oh yeah, Seinfeld. Seinfeld. You know, I always see him at these shows. Yep. And, and uh, you know, you run into. This is a big show, so at a bigger show, I don't know as many people as say like when we go to Monster Palooza. Yeah, that's one of those. Where like you see like you'll be walking, and every like 30 feet you know somebody. I know. You know? I, and this is more, your crowd and mine too is more horror stuff. Right, right. Like this is more, there is self people, but it's more, you know, comic books and like yeah. kind of general. It's not like one certain yeah, type like, of thing. Like if I go, if we do a horror show, they'll know, even if they don't know us, we might throw out a movie title, they might see the movie or heard of it. Yes. Probably like 80% of the people, they don't know what Camp Blood is or Fat Planet. No, or, Fat Planet, yes. Or such Sus what's your Sasquatch? I or, saw the Sasquatch. Yeah, or Shark. Uh, Go Shark. Go Shark. Yes. Is Go Shark from 2011? No, that was 2013, I think, oh, is okay. whatever, something like that. So here's the autograph area. Is Reg Reggie Bannister over here? You were saying you talked to him earlier. He yes. was in uh, Disaster Wars, your film. Yeah, we cheer in. Yes, and there's that. And the Soup Nazi over there. Larry yeah, Thomas, the soup Thomas. Nazi. He usually has like, like he has soup spoons and things that he signs. Here's another movie booth here. It's like some weird stuff in here, like Dead Like Me, the complete series. I just remember really liking that show when that was on. I haven't watched that though in forever. Gargoyles, Hey Dude, the complete series. Like some of these ones they'll have main releases like um i think like this one like uh graveyard shift i think that like went out of print but i have the legit release though of that one and here's like a ferris bueller tv show did you ever see that when that was on i, I never saw that yeah yeah i don't think it lasted very long danger man did you ever see uh parker lewis can't lose I did. Yeah, I saw that a little bit of that. Ferris Bueller ripoff, right? Yes, I think so. Here's a they put the Afraid of the Dark on a Blu-ray disc. I think I've seen someone having this one online. You know, they're not in Blu-ray quality though, but they're all on like a couple discs. This is a cool TGIF shirt here with uh, Jason and Steve Urkel. <laughs> That's a really funny shirt. Over here though, I found some Blu-rays. See, Dave, here's some Blu-rays here. I think some, these are some of the first Blu-rays I've come across here. A lot of superhero type things. Jurassic Park. Oh. What are you checking? What are you? Yeah. I think I have these. This Django one was this like an exclusive edition, I think, or something like that. I might have been one of those exclusive. What do you think of that Fright Night remake? I always kind of like that. I thought it was alright. There's a sequel. I don't know how's a sequel. It was like a direct-to-video one. It was okay. Nothing like amazing. And those movies, I never really got into those or watched those or anything. I don't know why, but I never really saw them. You don't see them as a, um, you don't see them as a, um, <coughs> like an action star. No. Like Tom Cruise can pull it off. Some loose PlayStation 2 discs. These are, yeah, just loose PlayStation 2 discs. So we poked around here a lot. Have you found anything so far, though? Like I, I've seen interesting stuff, but I didn't like movie-wise. There's we saw a couple things, but not like. I'm still looking around. I mean, I usually come to conventions mostly for DVDs and yeah. magazines, and I'll probably pick something up before I go. I mean, it's like if you go to a show like this, you should always maybe pick something up. Yeah, you know? something. You know, that's the fun of coming. You know. I know. The one I was saying though, like some of the posters and stuff, though, you got to figure out how you're going to handle it, though, because you can really mess them up. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah, like the stuff. Like I like a lot of stuff, but I'm very particular. Posters I don't do. No. I don't frame them. 
you know, whatever. No, um, so many, so many posters I have that are like old ones that I've had throughout the years. Like probably collectible originals, like for Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, have been up with like tacks and then up with staples, staples, and all these different things throughout the years. And I'm like, man, I wish they weren't all stapled up and tacked up when I look back on them. I think, like I said, if you're gonna collect something, you have to like just narrow down on to something. one certain particular thing. Right. And there's the big tower of t-shirts. Yes, you always see that. You see it at all the comic conventions. At Comic Con, they, they have, have two like, of them, two or three of them. I mean, there, there must be what five thousand t-shirts there. Some, something like that. I, I remember that when I used to come, I, I was too big for all of them. You know, I wouldn't fit in any of those sizes. You know, a lot, a lot of people watching this video, they've never been to these types of shows. A lot have, but a lot haven't. And, and I encourage people, you should go to these shows. They're really, you know, these are your people. It's really fun. It's, yes. you know, it's fun stuff. It's like a, it's, a, it's expensive slot meet you got to pay to get yes. into, you know. And I, it's fun. And I say, too, the one thing I always like, too, is when you look back at the videos, look at what's going on behind you. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, you fade really quick, and yeah. you know, there's like a zillion people. And then you never know some of people are doing weird yeah. faces and odd stuff's happening and all that. But we pretty much hope through the whole thing. How many, how much walking do you think it is if you walk through all the aisles? Like three miles, something oh, like that? Oh, man, I don't three, believe it not. Something, it's, it's a lot. Right, and you probably, you know, if you're here all day, why not? Because... I like, I usually come to like uh, like this show, but I'll stay for hours because I know, I know I won't be coming back for another year, so I just kind of milk it for yes. a while. And the other one that I like that's like this too is L.A. Comic Con. It used to be called Kamikaze. That one, that one's in, in L.A. though. That's in the fall. That's in the fall, like around Halloween, I think, something like that. You know what's a good one you should go to? The one in Long Beach in the summer. Long the Beach? Halloween one. Oh, Hollow Screen. Yeah, yeah, I've never That's gotten to those really, ones. Really? I didn't know what it was, was and it was jam-packed. It was really a good show. A no, really good show. No, I need to get to those ones. I haven't gotten to a lot of those haunt conventions before. And, 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 and like, I go around the country, you've been around the country. Those are always fun to do when you go out of where you live into a different state. Yeah, no, I. That's 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 fun. The one I, I was, want to get to is Texas Frightmare. Have you? Have you you've I've been. been, a, been a, I've been there twice. Yeah. Um, I I would say go. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm going this year, but you know, you never know. They always have I, interesting guests, though, from what I've noticed, like some different people. Oh yeah, they have a lot. That's like I don't know. I think that's the. Um, as far as celebrities, they got the most celebrities out of anyone at that show, you know. And there over there is uh, Shazam himself over there. They're doing some kind of a, like, meet and greet type thing or something to promote the movie over there. So that's really cool. Well, we now ran into Josh Sussman, who I was saying, your commercial is on TV so much now. And what are you doing? You're like, um, I'm doing, doing hibachi. 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 Yeah, to just take my mind off all the stress of buying a new home. Yeah. Um, for Geico. Yes, and, and did you learn hibachi, or could, could you actually hibachi in real life? They had me practice a lot, but they're special effects, so yes. it wasn't all me. No. But if you had the hibachi, you think you could do it? You think you might know some skill? Some, but it's, it's scary because uh, there's knives and I'm throwing knives up and flipping them, trying to catch them. So I was practicing. I did hurt myself a few times. Yeah. So it was rough. Oh no. But oh, I'm so excited to see Sean. We went in for a handshake and I was going in for a hug, and I feel awkward. <laughs> it was a little embarrassing. I hope he wasn't thinking, why is Josh going for the hug? And we both know Ron Carlson. That's right. Yeah, you were in one of Ron Carlson's films. I was in Ron Carlson's movie Dead Ant. You were in Midgets vs. Mascot. Yeah, that's coming up on its 10th anniversary. I know, it's just crazy. The time goes by so fast. So, hey, Ron, if you're watching. Yes. And that movie had Gary Coleman in it in a crazy role, the late Gary Coleman. I loved him in that movie. I, was, I grew up watching Different Strokes, so it was yes. fascinating to spend six weeks with yes. Gary Coleman. Yes. And that's an experience that not many people have, so I can imagine. I, know that I was in a bunny outfit for this movie. I was one of the mascots. Yeah. And it was in the Texas sun, and it was got very hot in there. Now, you've been in a lot of things, though, like what Glee and all kinds of different things. Yeah, so it's, been a, it's a fun life. Yes. You never know what's coming up. And, but as an actor, you're unemployed after every job. Yes. Even when you're doing Glee, I wasn't a regular, and I was recurring, so I would do an episode, and then I would never know. When you were coming back, or if you 
Yes, yeah, so I'm just waiting by the phone. Is it going to ring? And um, it, it was really fortunate when they would call me back because I loved the show also as a fan yeah. of the show. What's your favorite thing that you've done? Like one of your favorite movies or TV shows or anything yes. like that maybe people don't know? Okay, my, my favorite ones that people actually don't know, it's called War in the Ape, which was a spin-off of Craig the Bunny. Um, oh, I didn't know about that. And this Chris who's behind us, he was actually a writer uh, on, uh, not him, that's Kurt, but yeah, that's Chris, Chris who wrote on, he was a, on uh, War in the Ape and then went on to do Tangerine and Florida Project. Florida Project, yeah. But, so, um, if you heard of Greg the Bunny, Greg had a friend, Warren, and Warren, he was a monkey puppet. He was addicted to drugs, sex, and alcohol, and he would see Dr. Drew every week. Dr. Drew was his therapist. Oh, yeah, I, I feel like I remember seeing a trailer or something for that. And I was his assistant who he was so abusive to. I wish I could tell you that the episodes were free somewhere, like on Netflix. They're on Amazon and iTunes. There's 12 episodes. Um, it's my favorite thing I worked on. I made some of my best friends on the show. Yeah. Uh, Seth Green guest star on it. Sarah Silver, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Eugene Levy. So yeah, check out War on the Eight. And didn't you do something on American America's Got Talent? Or am I crazy? Um, your American Idol. American Idol was it? It was yeah. a sketch for um, the Tonight Show where Jay Leno said, "Aren't the judges so mean this year?" And it cut yeah, to a okay. clip where I was singing terribly, and Simon Cowell yeah, that's what it was. took yeah. a blowtorch and burned me to death. Yeah. While I was singing Ring of Fire. Yeah. I'm impressed you know that. Yeah, I, I knew I knew something like that. I, I couldn't remember what it was though. Well, hopefully we work together. I know. We gotta do something. What is it? We're on camera right now. I know. And you're on a lot of Di uh, Nickelodeon and Disney shows. And yeah, I'm, in the, I'm gonna be in some episodes of the final season of Star vs. the Forces of Evil on Disney Channel. It's an animated show. Yeah. Uh, and Darren F.C., um, the creator of that show, has a panel um, here in a couple hours at WonderCon. Uh, That's cool. So I'm gonna try to make that. And I met you the first time. At, what was it? At D23. D23, yeah. It's like two years ago, I think. So Something. we're coming up on our two year anniversary. Yeah, so when we, but when you were in the video then, though. Did we take a picture? I don't know. I if don't we, even think we did. We should have gotten a, a video or something, but now we finally did. But we're making up for it now. But we got to do sometime a movie hunting vlog. Looking at going to a movie store or something like that. I mean, you're an expert. I love, I love your catchphrase. Uh, to Best Buy we go. To Best Buy, yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah. Target we go. Yeah, yeah. And I, I'm starting to say that when I enter a place. <laughs> to WonderCon we go. We go. Yes. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. It's a great catchphrase. You guys should all start doing it. And think of Sean. Yeah, you should do it in one of your shows. If you ever have a thing when you go into somewhere, you should bring, you should go into this. I go. I should. Well, that's your yeah. thing. Yeah. This is a cool duder okay. right here. Yeah. Cool. Thing. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so but it was great talking to you and finally got you on a video. So that's cool. That's so cool. Do you have your, any favorite cosplay that you've seen or got on camera? I don't know. So there's lots of different stuff. I was wondering if there was going to be anybody already from us. You know, I feel like that's going to be a big thing. I think we eat Kurt saw. We, we don't need to Oh, Kurt. Sure. So did you, did you see anyone from us? Did you see any us cosplay? They're all around us. Yeah. Oh, I see what he did there? Yes. Yes, I saw. Um, Three separate groups, so they weren't together as one. Yeah. So they were, which means that there was a an idea uh, across multiple groups versus. I feel like just, that's yeah. gonna be like the new Yeah, event. yeah. They keep, and I, I know it sounds like a, a joke, but they keep popping up. Yeah. Like I look and they're over the corner of my shoulder, or they're on the escalator. The best yeah. is if you get a twin. If you have a twin, that'd be like the perfect costume yeah, yeah, yeah. for twins. Yeah, exactly. I just, I'm just getting paranoid. Yeah. Yes. But speaking of popping up, Kurt Leitner pops up in Rocky Five. Oh, what? I don't remember that. Oh yeah. Look, IMDb Kurt. Lightner. Um, I looked a little different. That was 1990. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Many more recent things since then. But as no, a Rocky a fan, fun. that's okay. That's yeah, that was a fun little moment. Like. And, and that, I like that thing. Is that your name tag? Will that's Monson. my name. Yeah. Josh. Yeah. That's my name. But it's then like, I don't know if people know my name. If oh, Josh. You gotta cover that up. Yeah. And then they go, yeah. Well, I mean, it makes me feel important. Now, do you get recognized now for that commercial? Since that commercial is all over the place, have you had anyone come to you and like mentioning about the teppanyaki? Surprisingly, yes. Because yeah. um, I'm used to getting recognized for the, the TV shows, so yeah. it's rare for a commercial. But you're the commercial guy. Oh, uh, yeah. You're, you're, you're Ge Geico. Uh, yeah. I guess I stick out with my hair, maybe. So now with Geico, though, those commercials can sometimes live on, so like... Ten years from now, that commercial could be getting aired again as like the archives. Now, like they brought back the, the, the guy called Caveman ones. Yeah, people seem to really like it, so I hope so. And people ask me when I they knew I did a Geico commercial. They asked me, "Is it funny?" And the truth is, when you're doing it, I don't, you, I don't know. You don't know. No. Once it came out, I, the answer is yes. People loved it. Yeah. But while doing it, I had 
No clue. No clue. I think it is like that with most things. Like yeah. you never know if you're doing something that's incredible or if it's going to be bad. No. Never. I've done some bad things, but they were so much fun to do that we thought yeah, it would be the best thing. the bad things are the best things. Yeah, you make friends on them. So I it's know. All... Yes, but it was great seeing you. You had a, a great extended cameo interview in here. Yeah, this is really cool. That's, I know. Um, this is maybe the highlight of my WonderCon. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you. Yeah. So, I guess, um, yeah. I guess this is where we part ways, I guess. I guess that'll be oh said. Let's, yeah. I feel the handshake. Let's shake hands oh, yeah. now. Let's shake hands. So good to see you. Yeah, good to see you. Well, we've reached the end of the video, Dave. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, I will be seeing you soon, though, on, uh, you know, the next Camp Blood, so we're definitely doing an on-set video of that. <laughs> and there's some other movies uh, coming up. Yes. And, uh, so a little, and, and don't forget, um, be checking out, I'm, I'm putting out Camp Blood Chills, which is a compilation, yeah, of all the death it's, scenes. It's really cool. It, it, it's going to be coming out, and you'll be able to buy the DVD on my Kanaki uh, store where all my DVDs are. So definitely I'll put a link though below to your Facebook. That's the best way people would like contact you. Right, yeah, yes, 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 yes. yes. But, but anyway though guys, thanks so much for watching and subscribing. I'll see you guys later. Bye.